burst damage, especially if your team has squishies, which there are on the Slovenian side. They'll be very dangerous. And now let's just get straight into the Land of Dawn for game number two between the Philippines and Slovenia. As we can see, both junglers just going for very, very fast clears, but the Philippines seem to have a plan up their sleeve. Okay, we will see what will Slovenia do with this draft in the early game, but our kill is going to be the first target that will be got beaten in the top lane. Meanwhile, there's some rotation They're coming from Slovenia going into the river area. So, hang on. It's XP lane Kaja. We'll have to see how effective that is for sure. But he will be the main playmaking hero, but look at that. Shadow kill, I mean, triple shadow, quad shadow by this, uh, by the Hayabusa, actually does a lot of damage, and it's a big skirmish breaking out between the two teams. See that Rimuru is forced to back away, flicker away, but the chase is done, and Imam picks up a kill. Philippines are not done yet oh. though, they're cutting back and forth, but that is a kill picked up by Visao on the Hayabusa, and that will be an equal trade, more or less, but the Filipinos are definitely the aggressors in this situation. Yeah, they are trying to give him a pressure, and Dapadap is looking for more. He tried to shut down that Ara kill. Oh, he canceled the recall and he tried to regen his HP. Meanwhile, Oof. maybe the Padap still have a chance. No, I think the Padap also doesn't want to take a risk. It's a very dangerous situation to overstay with low HP, mm -hmm. especially against a team that is known to punish that, and especially against Farsa in the mid lane. Mm -hmm. The wings by wings will be dangerous, but now Slovenia strikes back. They do a lot of damage to Dap Dap, but he's able to actually make it out of there alive as the turtle seems to be the main priority for both these teams. And without Dap Dap, can the Filipinos do something? The Federal Airstrike has been used already. No one has fallen victim just yet. And the Slovenians are wrapping around until the knockout Ooh. comes in and the Guinevere picks up a kill. Del Rosario coming out massive, getting the turtle as well. And the Filipinos are not done. Going again, taking out Visal, and now it will be Clyde just for good measure. Double kill for Del Rosario. Disaster for the Slovenians. Oh my god. It's disaster for Slovenia because they, they failed to get the turtle. They failed to contest the turtle here. So they lose a lot of uh, things just now in the top lane. And Philippines, they are still trying so hard to keep giving a pressure. Meanwhile, the top lane is going to be a solo kill towards Dev head up Whoa. and will be get traded with Boney at the bottom lane. Plays all over the map here from both these teams. A rock kill with a solo kill, but on the bot side, the Filipinos have taken out or zoned away members from Slovenia and they're taking some gold. Although you can see that Clyde wants to try and stop this turret take or at least deny the gold coming into the pockets of Soriano. Conversion coming in from Rimuru, coming in from that mid lane. But it will be a bit too late as we are back to the default. And you can see that Del Rosario actually mm -hmm. has the Demon Slayer and he has the ooh, tank build. But here we see, we see that Bonnie is targeted. He gets taken out. That was a very, very good flicker. I'm about a combo by Villa Luna. Yeah, meanwhile, Villa Luna trying to cover Soriano, who looks very, very low. And Slovenia also don't want to take a risk to just, you know, keep giving a pressure because we know how strong Zoriano as well with Oof. this 1-1. Meanwhile, there's a stun coming from Imam with the energy impact and the curse of blood comes from Clyde trying to shut down Imam at the backline, but I think it's kind of a little bit hard for him. It's very too difficult, but the Feather Airstrike is available again. Imam pops it up. Visau? Look at that. Visao is a bit too aggressive, gets knocked up, gets taken out into the hands of Soriano, and they're not done yet again. Bonnie is the next target, and the crossbow of Tang is popped up. That's a double for Soriano, and in the mid lane, Ooh. yet an, again, action all over the place. The Philippines are out for blood. <laughs> yeah, I think they are still looking for more RSC because, you know, with the pressure they have right now, with this Parsia, and also with this Guinevere, and they are keep snowballing in, since in the er early game. Visao is able to take the purple buff back though, so that's fortunate for him. But they are not out of the fire just yet. The gold difference is building up and the turtle is up as well. The Philippines are still trying to bait, trying to make a play happen in the bot side instead. Knowing that the Slovenians have had a tendency to actually trade objectives instead. Yeah. Meanwhile, the next objective 
will be this a uh, turtle in the our first four minutes. Meanwhile, Rimuru Ooh. is already being chased away by the member of Philippines. Look at the town and also the ammo and it comes from Villa Luna. It obviously will make so Rimuru cannot run from it. Ooh, the Prince of Wrath being used as well. That is a large damage on Visao and that's a double kill taken by Dapadap. And he is going in for Clyde just for hit measure. That will be a killing spree picked up by Del Rosario on that tank Ooh. Guinevere as Arachiel is forced to flicker yet again. A battle spell being used defensively instead of aggressively for this Kaja. Oh my god, now Philippine they did they don't want to give a chance at all to make Slovenia can do free rotation here, right? Because they they, they have to secure Ooh, their airstrike. jungle. But Federal Asterix and burst damage coming from this Farsia. Multi done Bonnie. Bonnie with five deaths right now, definitely a very tough situation. It's a repeat of game number one. Soriano just getting out of control and Bonnie getting absolutely shut down. As Arakio here tries to make the winning play, goes with a divine judgment, but it won't be enough. Actually, he gets taken very, very low as Dapadap just moves back and starts going for a roam, perhaps. Okay, and now the crossbow of tank pops up as well from uh, Zoriano. It makes Clyde with the Curse of Blood cannot do much here. Meanwhile, we know how strong Dapadap in the uh, top lane. Ooh. And Royal Rosario, I think, drove too much, uh, but he still He's able alive. to survive. And even the cover that comes from Philippine, it makes that the old Rosario still able to join the team fight in the mid lane and secure the top, the mid turret. Two kills for the Philippines, but Visao was able to escape with his life. Very fortunate for him, but one more turret taken away from the hands of the Slovenians and the jungle control now will be absolutely contested as the Filipino members are going for this orange buff. But wait a minute, Visao tries to make a play, it won't be enough. And now both teams are just waiting for an opportunity as a better airstrike is being used by Imam. He won't be able to burst anyone low enough, but Arachiel, one of the main engaged tools, will no longer be able to actually mount a resistance in the front line. I'm offended though, being used onto Bonnie, and that is her falling down yet again. Shadow Kill is being used by Visao, but unfortunately, not enough damage, not enough resources, and Arachiel just overstays in the top side, ta gets taken out off camera. Oh my god, now there's. They're, it's it's already like five turrets from for Philippines, and Ooh. now they're still looking for more. Rimuru tried to defend the top lane here, but it's not gonna be easy because four five members from Philippines they already keep giving a pressure again. They don't want to give any. I can say maybe. Uh, oh, oh, hang what? on. There we go, Visao oh, makes the big play, it. takes he up Villa it. Luna, yeah. so not exactly the ideal target, he's alone though right now, Dap Dap as well as Soriano wants vengeance, they go in, Soriano aiming to go for a crossbow of time perhaps, he needs to be very careful though as the Koopa gets sent out, Clyde is very very low, but Dap Dap alone will be able to zone the rest of the members from the side of Slovenia and force up the Brilliance Order as well, both teams back away but the Filipinos, they're just going for those turrets. Yeah, I know, right? And look at that. Now, we, we we will see the same thing over and over again because now Slovenia, they have to defend their base. The Dapadap is going to be the frontliner. Ooh, and tank. Tank. Goes in. That's a godlike for Soriano. That's a double triple kill. kill. That might oh. be a triple kill. Not just quite yet. And now, with two members down, can the Slovenians defend from this assault? The range game, the burst game, the crowd control oh. is just so strong for the side of the Philippines. They're trying their best to try and get a pickoff, but it won't be available just yet. The middle base turret is the main target for the Filipinos, and they will be able to secure it. But what next? They go oh. with the Armor Fender Flicker combo that is brought oh. taken out of the creation again. The knockup coming in from Rodel Rosario. The, level, the legendary, the double kill coming in from Imam as well. All the burst damage poured into the members of Slovenia, the Filipinos trying to end this game strong. They go in again, trying to secure the final kill onto Clyde. He will be able to survive. Not quite though. Rimuru left alone, watching four members, five members on the Filipino team going for the end. The Lord comes in just as a celebratory measure and that will be the Filipinos coming out on top. Wow, Philippines secured the two and zero against Slovenia. And Slovenia is going to be our second region that has to say goodbye